Hello traders, Todd here of tradinganalysis.com. This is the free stock option video update for Friday, September 19th. Uh, strong close uh, with stocks today post-Fed. Uh, stocks, bonds, and, and um, currencies still trying to figure it out a little bit. They were mixed, but stocks were strong. So um, we put out a video a couple days ago uh, going short the queues. And as we mentioned in yesterday's video, we cut it. We're wrong, out, forget it. Uh, going with the trend higher, we've adjusted the wave counts. We're gonna show you the trade we put on today. Now, keep in mind, we do have the Scottish vote tonight. Uh, we don't know anything yet, except I just did read an article on Business Insider that everyone's getting drunk in Edinburgh right now. And the big concern is it's a big party right now. And it's most of the alcohol uh, consumption is being done by the uh, pro-independence group, and if that is a no, um, <clears throat> there could be chaos uh, in the streets of Edinburgh. So that being said, we'll see what that brings with the markets, but there will be an impact on markets following the outcome of that election. But for now, we're going to stick with the trend, and here's what we're looking at. We are um, breaking out in a third wave, which is just off the screen here in the queues, I have overlaid on top of the NASDAQ. So we have the NDX cash over here on the right, queues on the left. We're breaking out in wave three, following a nice A, triangle B, down in C to the 1.618 CNA relationship, as well as 100% time CNA relationship. We've moved up in one, down in two, and we are looking for a move up to a quality 100%, which is your minimum level. For a third wave, ideal is the 1.618. That's why it's in that fancy green color. Uh, equivalent level is about 101 half in the queues. So here's the trade we put on. We sold at the close the 100 puts in October and we bought the 99s. All right, here's the trade. Uh, we sold the 100 puts, bought the 99s for a 35 cent credit. Now, that credit's very important as it relates to the Elliott Wave count because uh, break even on that trade would be your $100 short strike minus the 35 cent credit gives you a break even of 99.65. Now, what's one of the basic rules of Elliott Wave? In a good trend wave, your fourth wave, whenever that unfolds, should not move into the territory of the prior second wave. Over here on the queues, that is right around 99.65 or the break even on that credit. So we are looking for upside continuation, looking for this credit to expire worthless, pending the outcome of the Scottish vote. Um, we'll see what happens, uh, but uh, stocks are acting very strong. They're able to shake off the Fed, which the jury's still out whether that was hawkish or dovish. We don't know, but the trend is too strong to argue. So we're out of the short. We're getting long. We're also long the XLF financials uh, with customers. Uh, Dow is actually leading the way. Financials acting very strong. Technology is right behind it. And we can show you very quickly on this uh, sector ETF overlay. Here's a 5 minute percent change. Uh, leaders today, XLF financials. Healthcare was strong. And then just below that, XLK which is your technology, and then just behind that, which you can't see, is your discretionary. So all the good sectors you'd like to see in an upstock market. All right, guys, good luck. I hope that helped you. If this video helped you, give us a like. It would be much appreciated. If you'd like to hear us uh, go on um, every day, give us a, a subscribe, and uh, we'll appreciate it, and we'll keep putting out hopefully actionable quality videos for you. Take care, guys. Talk to you on the next video.